built the plumbing for the bog filter out of two different sizes of Schedule 40 PVC pipe. For the interior, we used 3 quarter inch, and for the exterior, we used 1 and a half inch. The 1 and a half inch pipe needs to be sized to fit between your bulkhead fittings. You'll see this in the further detail in our next video where we install the plumbing. For a complete list of all the fittings required, refer to the video description. The plumbing for the bog filter is fairly simple, with the one and a half inch pipe feeding from the main pump to the bog. From there, the water is evenly distributed across the bottom of the bog through a series of short three quarter inch pipes. You'll get an idea of how these are configured later on in the video. For our filter, we used eight pieces of three quarter inch pipe that were eight inches long and 10 pieces that were 12 inches long. These 12 inch pieces need weeping holes drilled into them. To do this, we built a jig to safely hold the pipe while we drilled the holes for our drill press. Here we are drilling the weeping holes in the 12 inch sections. We spaced the holes out evenly throughout the length of the pipe and oriented them at 0, 90 and 180 degrees. This allows the water to slowly and evenly enter the bog so that it can work most efficiently. Now we start assembling all of the components. Make sure to use an appropriate solvent for whatever type of pipe you choose to use, whether it's ABS or PVC. We are assembling two identical manifolds, one for the left and one for the right side of the filter. We dry fit the components first to get a proper alignment and then primed and glued everything together.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss our next episode where we walk you through the installation of the liner and the plumbing.